Welcome to Two Jews Making Food. I am Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And today we are celebrating Passover. We're Passover pals. We're Passover pals. Happy Passover. Happy Passover, pal. Yeah. It's one of those bittersweet holidays. It is. <laughs> we're we not were, acting we were very just, bittersweet. We were talking but... before we began shooting Tear. that. It is one of those holidays where you celebrate your freedom and you celebrate your family and you celebrate the, the gifts that are here and now, but you also have to remember the times when things were not as easy. Right. And uh, your history. Once which again, we came. Jews triumph, the triumph over adversity. Yes, always. Again, <laughs> and all things symbolic in Passover. Yeah, it's so probably, much of the food that the we most eat. Most symbolic, yes, yeah. Is, uh, oftentimes it represents something, or it's the telling of a story, or. It's a yes. tradition, you know. And in this case, it absolutely is oh because gosh, absolutely. you have a Seder where you tell the story of the Jews. Moses freeing in, the uh, Jews. Moses freeing the Jews the from, Egypt, from Egypt. From the bad Pharaoh. The Pharaoh. And all the plagues. Yes. Oh, the plagues. And yeah. The and, plagues. The, and the, uh, the highlight for many Jews is the four cups of wine. Yeah. And then we discovered the fifth cup of wine that is part of the Passover Seder is for Elijah. The prophet. The prophet who is to bring things to come. You always leave your door open yeah. for the... What it, it was the, uh, he won't acknowledge who he is, but he comes and says he won't know that it's him. Right, right. But, he but he's come. eventually supposed to bring the Messiah. The something. Messiah. But then yeah. this year we're also celebrating Miriam? Miriam. Miriam, right? With Which, water. <laughs> with water. Well, because she is the sister of Moses who was sent down the river in the basket. Yes. And she watches She sent him down him. the river yes. with his mother. But she, she watches him as he goes down the river to make sure that he gets to safety. So it is the celebration of, yes, of women, but bringing them into the holiday. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Always got to go back to that joke. Got to go but to it's Schindler's List. Women with, within <laughs> the holiday, because sometimes they get the stories about the women get lost. And so this is kind of the way to bring it back into. It's not like, and don't forget the ladies. Don't forget the ladies. Leave them some water. They. <laughs> It's because most of her story, and it has to do with the, the well, that the Miriam, Miriam, her name's Miriam, right? I, I, yes. Oh, geez, I should have double-checked that. Say it but, with conviction. It um, is. It is. Uh, but she, it was the, the water that followed the Jews through the uh, the desert for 40 years. Right. right? It was that So, yes, water well. is significant. So, water is but very so is wine. Which is, which is why her cup is filled with water. Um, Amy, Thanks, what are Miriam. you doing? I am, um, I am. You look like you're making mush. I am, I am literally making mush, so. Um, you eat a lot of matzah for Passover because you yes. can't have anything leavened, meaning because no... Because the juice took off so quickly, yeah. none of the bread got to rise. They didn't have time rise. to put any yeast in anything, so um, everybody already knows this. We eat matzah, we nothing do. leavened, so no bread. So I am making a... Um, I'm going to be making a f everybody's favorite breakfast, my favorite. breakfast dish, yes. matzah brai. Whenever -E -I. I go home to visit my mother, she makes me this, and I love it, and it's very special. So Everyone looks in, forward to so it. So in preparation for making this, I have... I have um, dampened four pieces of matzah, which I've now kind of smushed yes. up into a bowl. You basically take a piece of matzah and you run it underwater. Yeah, until it gets a little soft and then you smush it into a bowl. And then in a bit, I will do more with it. But I want to point out that um, matzah brai means matzah mush. Matzah mush. Or matzah porridge, but really that, mush. And it literally is matzah that mush. That is so Jewish. But the most delicious matzah, matzah mush. mush you'll ever have. So I'm doing that. And I'm then it. You're, no, but you're doing part, other things. So yes, you talk about what you're doing. My favorite part of Passover is side dishes. So, I mean, while the main course is always delicious, I love the gefilte fish. I love chlorosa, which is what we're going to make here today. And I am also making, how do we say this again, Amy? It's, the dish is, uh, Kishka? Kishka? Vegetarian kishka, kishka Vegetarian right? Vegetarian kishka is, is what we're making today. And now yes. this is an ode to my grandfather. This was his favorite dish, but he liked what I like to call the old world style of kishka, which is made with meat. I'm going to give you a kishka. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Maybe so lovely. But uh, real kishka is actually uh, meat and some kind of grain Almost like a together. Jewish haggis. Yes. In, I mean, intestine or some kind of Packaging. Like oats and meat. Yes, and yeah. it, that's you basically make it, and you can boil it or you can fry it. There's lots of different ways to make it, and in lots of cultures, it's still a very popular thing to eat. However, I like to make mine accessible for everybody, so I'm making a vegetarian version, which is super simple and delicious. I'm excited about it. Go crazy. Go crazy. Okay, so what I've done here is I have celery, carrots, and my did my onion get lost? It's oh, there. there it is. It's here. It's here. So celery, carrots, and onion. I basically zhuzh in like a food processor, so it comes out kind of in a mush, otherwise known as Jewish food. Bry. So <laughs> it's bry. Bry of carrots, onions, and celery. So you just zhuzh it in a food processor. You add one egg, a half a cup of oil. Well, or I have to eyeball it. it. Oh, you're doing it. You're actually measuring. Girl, I'm going to measure. Girl. Oh, all right, half a cup. I'm muddling. 
please muddle. And then it's one tablespoon of sugar. And you think, why? Those are already so sweet. Would you add so much sugar? But you do, because that's how we do it. Brings it. out the flavor, just like the salt. Flavor. And then we add salt. I like that you don't get fussy with your with your mixing vessels. I'm like, I must have a pretty bowl. No. I got a bowl I like for my matzo. Thing, You're like the better pepper. <laughs> You're very efficient. Oh, and then we have matzo meal. Matzo meal. Matzo meal. It's two cups of matzo meal. FYI for the those people out there who are not the best Jews, as far as the ones who don't pay much attention, um, you can't use old matzo meal from one year to the next. And you can't use the matzo meal from the international section. You have to get it from the kosher for Passover Barf. section. And you have to, have to get it new every year. So it's been blessed by a rabbi to make it parav, which means that it's kosher for Passover. Mm -hmm. So. Normally, you know, it may not be out yet while we're filming right now, but you would want to make sure that you get all of your Passover stuff from the kosher Mine's for new. Passover section. So yours is new, so it's probably kosher for Passover. Mine's new. It says, let's see. It'll stay on the box. Mine's not new, Amy. Come on now. It's not out yet. All right, here we go. Yeah, it should be. So it's you just, almost spring. So you just spring. mix it up. That's Ooh, it. Just, this is literally the whole thing. That's it. And what are you doing? Oh, I'm so I was muddling because I'm making I'm making a, a a grape. What is this? Is a grape mint grape mint grape mint You're gonna spritzer get grape with grape spritzer. ice cubes. Have you been having a few of them? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> um, so I've got I've got like the juice of about two limes in my pitcher here. Um, I kept some limes in there, but really it could just be the juice. But I did keep some limes, and then I've got about a quarter cup of fresh mint. Fresh mint. Fresh and mint? I'm muddling it in my pitcher. And then, um, oh my gosh, this looks so good. hopefully not breaking it while I'm doing it. Please don't, Amy. And then to the pitcher, I am going to add a whole bunch of sliced grapes. I don't need as many as I have here. Oop, dropped it. Okay. The leftovers will go to my mother-in-law's goose. He loves grapes. So I'm just putting a bunch of grapes in here. I think that's enough. Okay. And then you pour in... Some Kedem, because it's the best Kedem grape juice, uh, which is a, 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 ju a Jewish grape juice. Um, I would go about to like there. And then because, oh, hey, if you can make this for the kids and not booze it up, but obviously we're going to do that. So if you want to make it for the kids, put in some club soda or some sparkling water. Wow, well, we're not doing that Fill, today. fill it with <laughs> sparkling water, but we're not doing that. We're putting in some kava. Do so that it's it. an actual, actually a cocktail. All right. So while you're setting that up, I'm going yeah. to go ahead and get this into the oven. So instead of using any kind of casing, Ooh. whether it be, you know, intestine or whatever, I am going to use uh, aluminum Intestine. Foil. Yum. Yum. And like I said, it's like old world. If you grew up eating that, I bet you love it and you think it's like so delicious. I did not grow up eating that. My grandfather did. And it's just not my jam. Splashed. So I take about half of this. I put more grapes in. I got yeah, more room. you did, girl. Get in it. Get to those grapes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kind of make a vegetable log of sorts. <laughs> that sounds delightful. <laughs> a vegetable log. A vegetable log. But you just put it in. It's very simple. Oh, and I sprayed it with Pam. Do make sure that you oil it so that way it comes out of the, um, the aluminum foil easy. And then I just fold in the sides, fold over the top. And that is ah, so. It's casing. just a log. It's literally a log. It's a log. And we'll cut it on the other end when we're done. It'll be delicious. Spray it. And you can use olive oil. I just had Pam, so that's what I use, and I throw it in because it's easy because it sprays. Okay. I've mixed my cocktail. Now I've got our lovely coupe glasses. I'm gonna. Oh, so I've taken some granulated sugar and mixed in a little bit. In this case, a little too much grape juice um, to rim the edges of my glasses. So I'm just dropping that in there. And it's not working because it's too liquidy. You didn't use water, oh, it's did okay. you? Okay, I didn't use water. Actually, it's working. Oh, it's yeah. it's grape juice and sugar, but I put too much grapefruit in, grape juice in, so I should have added some more sugar, but I didn't. But it's working. It's fine. So I've rimmed the glasses with some of this sugar and grape mixture. Okay. I'm going in the oven. You're going in the oven. 375, 45 minutes, and it's done. You don't even have to like watch it or turn it. It just does its thing. Nice. It's glorious. So the other thing I've done for this drink in preparation for it is what you do is you make some grape ice. So you take your Kedem grape juice and you um, slice some of the, take some of those sliced um, grapes, put them in ice molds, 
pour in some of the grape juice, freeze it overnight. So now you've got these super cute, super cute grape ice cubes. That means it's not going to dilute your drink. Mm, I so can't now I'm going to pour this in, pour in the spritz. It's going to, oh, it's not spilling. Hooray. All right. Oops. So I've cleaned up my Ooh, station. Shake that chunk of lime out, though. Sorry about that. Oh, no, that'll be good. Leave it in my. All right, fine. I like a little I bit will. of springtime in my drink. Okay. I'm just going to move all this right out of the way because we're we done with Add it. a little mint garnish. Do. A you know little... what I don't love? I don't love herbs mashed into my drink. Well, it's not in there. It's at the bottom. Like so. mojitos. Mojitos always aggravate me. I'm going to throw. Oh, oh, oh whoa. Gosh, I'm going to throw a little extra grapes that. in there because they didn't get in there. You at home. We're almost Sorry. <laughs> um, so here, here we've got our. Grape mint oh, spritzer with grape ice cubes. Oh, grape ice cubes. Oh, yes. Fancy. It's very, it, it got a little sloppy. Oh my gosh. Happy Passover. Happy Passover. Happy and Passover. healthy, always. That's delicious. Very refreshing. Mm. Very grapey. Oh my gosh. That has Manischewitz written all over it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which Except means better. You know it's Passover. That's yes. how you know. Mm, it's good. It could use more kava. Mm. But I let you borrow some earlier, so I didn't have any more. Oh, yeah. it's, hey, it's still delicious. good. And then just make it with, with um, sparkling water for the kids. I love that. I, I love that. so much left over. Hey, what am I going to do with this? Thanks. Oh, my gosh. I feel like a kid. I wish you like could be here. Bruise. You could have some of it with us. <laughs> well, the good news is I've used most of my matzo meal. So I don't have to save it for next year. All right. So what are you doing now? I'm moving on to Harosip. So you're making Now, haroset is a very important part of Passover in that it, it belongs on the Seder plate. And haroset, well, I think should be eaten at any time of year because it's delicious. And like whenever I go to eat it, I go, why don't I make this more? I should make this like in the summer. Like it's Give so yum. Thank you. And and I don't know. Haroset is, is like an apple mush, it's literally, an apple brie. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise known as the uh, basis for all of Jewish cooking. <laughs> it's basically just apples walnuts, a little bit of cinnamon, brown sugar, and of course, manischewitz, and that is haroset. Some people make it to where they mush it, almost like a paste, but I like more mine almost more like a compote I've of had yours, it's really good. It's delicious. I love it. It makes me happy. When I eat it, it brings me joy, and I hope it's the same for you. How I'm gonna nice. Grab fork. Um, and it's, it represents the mortar on the, the mortar. Seder plate with, that the Jews used to rebuild. The, well, no, but that the, the Jews used to build the pyramids. That, in, in yes, Egypt. That's, exactly. that's yeah, what the, the Jews built the pyramids, folks. Did you know that? Did you know? They All right, so did. they probably did. They probably so did. So this is about two cups. So I'm adding four apples uh, cored and peeled. I have one more to do. About a cup and a half of walnuts. Walnuts. About a tablespoon, get out, of um, <laughs> the brown sugar. Get out. Get out. And then a half a cup of manischewitz. Oh, I still have one more to do, which I said, half a cup. Boop, 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 boop. That's oh. probably good. You got to make sure to put your manischewitz in. You have to. Otherwise, it's not corrosive. No. All right. So it'll be a little bit boozy. Gotta be. Everything about Passover is boozy. Yeah. Kind of like poor My poor mother-in-law, when she first, my mother-in-law did not grow up Jewish. And when she married my father-in-law, uh, she went to her first Passover Seder, which for anybody who's never been to a Passover Seder, it can be a little intimidating. You know, it's an important holiday and you want to do it all right. And his family convinced her that she needed to drink all four glasses, full glasses of oh. wine in order to be able to appropriately celebrate the holiday. And so she did, and she's not a big drinker and she barely remembers that And holiday. she drank Manischewitz or like a non-sweet? You know, I, I, who knows? But she loves telling that story and that they were very mean to her and made her drink all of it. And they laughed at her that she was wasted by the end of the meal, but that's kind of the whole point. So, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. One and a half teaspoons That's a lot of, cinnamon. of cinnamon. Well, yeah. Well, yours is real chunky. Yes. And you can mix it up in a blender if you like yeah, it. I'm used to it being more mushy, but that looks good. Because you like Jewish cooking. I like rye. All right. I'm doing one more apple, so you do that. Okay. Well, all right. So um, to my matzah, my, my squished matzah, I'm adding um, four eggs. You know, my mom doesn't use this many eggs. Um, this is... Actually, the recipe I looked at said two sheets of matzah and four eggs. I was like, that's a lot. Of so I put that's four like sheets of matzah. Eggs. I know, four matzah, it's like four eggs, eggs like a matzah. an egg per matzah. Um, I like my matzah braai. I like to serve it with sweet sides. Some people do savory. I'm putting a little bit of salt in. Woo! What sides would you do? Like what? Like 
sour cream? Um, I don't know. It says like chives, I guess, but I've never done it that way. So with my matzo brai, because I'm going to eat it sweet, Me too. Um, like a pancake, I'm putting just a little bit of um, vanilla in mine. Do you do that? Yes. I put my mom doesn't. Anything. And when I tell what? her, she's like, no. What? Well, she doesn't do it. Does so she I'm just going to mix this all up. Like, is she making No, it she eats it sweet, but she doesn't put um, any. Amy's mom, oh. I don't even know what to say to that. But she makes it's delicious when she makes it. I just, is, I just took I it to the Amy's next mom. level and I add a little bit of. And Amy's mom uh, can vanilla. do no wrong. She can do whatever she wants. Because I adore Do you, you hear that, mom? You can do no wrong. That's right. I'm going to remember that. Gonna, um, all right, so I'm just mixing. Next time you go there. I'm just mixing mine up. And after the Yiddish lesson, well, should we go to that now? Or let's do. You need do. To, all right, so let's go to the Yiddish lesson of the day with my dad. And then we'll come back and we'll fry up this matzo brai. So good. And then I'm going to tell you about my Manischewitz Jello shots. Yes. Yes. All right. May your Take cup it away. Run over. Hi, Dad. Hello, Amy. What's going on? Oh, same old, same old. You know, every day is Saturday to me. That sounds okay. <laughs> I don't even know what day this is. So let's go. Saturday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, hey, so, um, ha hey, Chag Sameach. Happy Passover. Happy Passover to you, too. Happy Pesach. Um, I can't yeah, believe it died here so fast. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I can't wait to have some delicious Passover food. Um, so, uh, Mondo bread. Mm, Mondo bread. I'm, I think I'm going to make some, uh, I think I'm making, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mondo, uh, matzo brai. Matzo brai is good also. Yes. Uh, all right. So, so uh, let's get to it. What is today's Yiddish word? <clears throat> it's a good one. The word is chutzpah. That and is that, a good that, one. Chutzpah. C h u t z p a. Chutzpah. Chutzpah. And it means. Randy was just hacking downstairs, making a oh. sound. Who is? <laughs> The dog, Rennie, she, she was just going, <sighs> well, maybe perfect she's timing for chutzpah. Maybe she's practicing for her bat mitzvah. I, I think she know. might be. She is 13. Yeah, um, well, there you go. So, what right. is, so tell me chutzpah. Chutzpah means gall, having brazen nerve, incredible guts, arrogance. There's no other word and no other language that can do justice to it's a great word, okay? And it's like, uh, I'll give you a classic example of what chutzpah is, which I'm going to read from this book that I have. Okay. Chutzpah is that quality enshrined in a man or woman who, having killed his or her mother and father, throws themselves on the mercy of the court because they are now an orphan. That is. So they got some chutzpah. nerve. They got some. They got a lot of nerve. They got some balls. I just killed that. my mother and father, and now I'm an orphan. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I'm an orphan, even though I killed okay. my mother and father. Chutzpah. But we also That's know chutzpah. these days chutzpah is used in a more positive way. Like that person, they they really they got a lot of chutzpah going up to that stranger and and talking to them about their business or, or like doing that cold call to generate business. That's so brave. You got chutzpah. Like it, you got, you know, you, when you got chutzpah these days, a lot of times it's just like, you got spunk, you got fire, right? Chutzpah. Yeah. So now you know, it used to be more that it was like all negative, but now people use chutzpah no, you know, in the positive. Start, start, a, start, a new, start a new job and, and two weeks later, go in and ask for a raise. That's chutzpah. Yeah, you, then you got some real chutzpah. You really do. But again, and that's kind of like, really? Like dial it back, girl. I don't yeah. know why I think girl could be a guy, but uh, but I like chutzpah and that like somebody who's got a lot of enthusiasm <clears throat> and like is brave and and full of energy and excited and just like yeah that girl's got chutzpah. That's but, chutzpah. But it could but it could also be that you know they're they're they got a lot of balls and a lot a of lot nerve. of nerve a lot of balls. Yeah. Well, I, I, it is a great word. I think a lot of people use it and um, as they should and you know again keeping that Yiddish alive. Um, Always a good thing. Well, good. well that was another excellent Yiddish word for us today, Dad. Thank you so much. Um, so just uh, enjoy your Passover meal. 
Thank you. And uh, you too. I will. Okay. Enjoy your mango bread. Wait. I can't and wait your, for that mango bread. I know. And your meat matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup. Yeah, I know I you're not going to eat the gefilte fish, but it's delicious. No, you're right. I'm not going to. I'm going <laughs> to. It would take a lot of chutzpah for me to eat that, let me tell you. It would. And, it, and you know what? In this case, ain't you don't. Gonna, <laughs> ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. All right, no. pops. All right. Well, Chag Sameach. Happy Passover. I love you. Give love mom you too. Baby. Same to yeah, you. I love, love you, mom, wherever you are back there. She can't hear me. She's deaf. All right. I love you lots. Thanks, dad. Bye. Bye-bye. That's not good. And we're back. And I'm going to throw my... Uh, I'm just eating. I'm going to throw my matzo bra into this butter. I put about two tablespoons of butter into this frying pan. Oh, my God. I love this food. The butter has bubbled. And now I'm putting... I'm sorry. This. You're not here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So the kishka is out. And the kishka looks like this. Now, what I do is I cook it for about 45 minutes, and then I open up the, uh, the aluminum foil. And I just let it, like, brown a little bit, let the oil and the egg kind of crisp up a little. And it turns into this beautiful, what is it, bry, mush? Mush, bry. Oh, my a gosh. beautiful bry. It's so delicious. I can't wait for you to taste this. I wonder if you like it. But I love it. I I'm, look forward to eating it every single year. I'm psyched about trying that maybe no, no, I, you know what let's put them on the plate now I'll you ready now while this okay. is yeah because i'm my matzo bra is now on the fryer it's oh my moving God. very slow oh <laughs> it's not it's not really frying up yet but it will um no i don't eat this with anything maybe there's somebody don't? out there who likes like a uh, horseradish on it or something oh, i mean oh, i don't personally so but i love horseradish i could eat horseradish mm. on anything All right, and then try. do you want a little bit of the I do first want to try this. Yes. Try that, try that first. So I've one. never had this. And I don't like to try it ahead of time because I want to be surprised, just like when you make me a cocktail and I don't like it and I make a face. Okay, I'm excited. Mmm. It's good, right? It's really good. It has so much flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That's really delicious. I love side I love dishes. It. I love side dishes. Like you could literally not make a main course and just feed me side dishes. I'd be thrilled. Oh my gosh, I'm eating more of this. I'm sorry, you can't eat this. I'm hoping you. my matzo bra is going to start frying up. I hate to turn the heat up because, you know, well, I tend yeah. to smoke this place out. Well, but it's starting to fry. It usually needs about three to four minutes to get brown. So mm -hmm. we've got still got a few more minutes. So I'm going to let now, that the go. Haroset, so let's try the haroset. Let the haroset sit as long as you can um, because it just soaks up the wine. But honestly, I've been eating it and it's still delicious, even though it hasn't <laughs> been that long. Give me some. So you put you usually. On there? Yeah. So in the Seder, you put it on the matzo. Because it's like the brick. It. Oh, it's like really big apple chunks. And the, the mortar. Yeah, more commonly you see a haroset with like um, really, really finely chopped up apples. And again, more like a mush. But this looks nice and fresh and delicious. I'm excited. Huh. Oops. The story mm. of my life. Oops. Oh, my God. Mm. It has so much flavor. I just love it. The cinnamon and the manischewitz and the walnuts. It has to be walnuts, by the way. Yeah. Don't be messing around with your nuts. Don't get pecans or something crazy. No. Hazelnuts. It's got to be walnuts. Almonds. Don't do that. No. Mm. I mean, unless you have an allergy. Well, then don't don't eat it. <laughs> Let everybody else enjoy and you just don't eat it. Oh, my gosh. I love this. This makes me so happy. This reminds me of, like, Passover's past. Like, it brings me back to, Passovers like... Passover's of yore. <laughs> it brings me back to, like, every holiday I've celebrated at, like, various homes in various ways. It just brings me joy. You know when you eat something and it just like brings you back to like Absolutely. when you were seven? Like when you smell something, you're like, oh, oh, that Bath and Body Works raspberry body splash. It <laughs> takes sun... me right back to high school. Do you school. remember sunflower perfume? Yes. Whenever I smell it, I was like, oh my gosh, that brings me That's back. That's Elizabeth to... Arden, right? I have no idea. I still wear her green tea perfume. Whenever I smell it, though, I'm like, whoa, that brings me back to when I was <laughs> very small. All right. My matzo bra is frying up. You want to give a little looky from above? Um, Starting, you can hear it sizzling. Oh. So it kind of looks like almost like mashed. Oh, sorry, um, scrambled eggs. Yeah. It's a little bit like an egg scramble, but it's got the matzah in it. Mm. My mom likes her matzah really crun crunchy in hers. I like I'm it gonna, both. I, I like it both. So I'm gonna let soft. it. It's gonna go a little bit longer to brown up, mm. and then we'll we'll give it a taste. But um, I wanted to mention that I also made. Manischewitz jello shots because why not oh my god why not so we're so is, fun this reminds me of that that movie um better off dead when the 
jello like moves off the table with its own life. It, like, it's like a jello mold and it's like. Burp, burp, burp. Better off dead? Oh, it's a great movie with John Cusack. Oh. Anyway, we got to try this. We got to try these jello shots. So this is one. Wait, I'm trying this again. So for Passover, you have to find kosher for Passover. Oh, it's very smushy. Kosher, kosher for Pats. <laughs> this is a mess. Kosher for Passover Jason. jello. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to reach in with my fork. Which, full disclosure, this is not. Uh, it's just regular lemon jello, orange jello. You do, um, I think, two cups of water over the jello, dissolve it, then pour in either two cups of Manischewitz or a cup of Manischewitz and a cup of vodka. It took kind of a lot. Which is what I did. And then you just let it set. And I sprinkled a little bit of like gold sugar on top to make it more festive. That's actually much stronger than you think it would be. Um, so, you know, if you want to get real crazy That's tasty. at Passover, make some Manischewitz jello shots. You know, I love how we go from like Purim to Passover. You just all the holidays where you're like, where you drink a lot. You just drink a lot. You just get so festive. If you, you know, and you could do it for the kids. Again, you could just use grape juice. Make make the um, mm. you can make the Jello with the two Jellos, and you just do less water because then you have the grape juice in, and it's you know, it's just as good. So you yeah. know, and some people who doesn't love Jello shots, they feel like they miss out when. People feel bad for Jewish people. Like, oh, you have to eat matzah. That sounds Matzah's so sad for you. Matzah with butter? So good. Best. Oh, so matzah good. Matzah pizza? Best. Yes. Matzah brai? Like, delicious. All right, so speaking of matzah brai, this is done. Oh, that looks done. All right, so it's I'm going to give you a little sum on your plate. Yes, do, please. And... Oh, my gosh, Amy, So, fabulous. again, we said we, we both like our sweet. I do. So uh, I've never had it with onions or anything. No. Like it. So what I have here I not in my today. fancy little serving dish, because again, I like to be fancy, is, is I've got. For you. Show me. Show me how. Some this kind of t standard things: cinnamon sugar. Oh. Jelly or jam. This is strawberry, and I also have here, in a weird way, putting it here, maple syrup. My mom thinks that that's very goisha. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, very really? like gentile to have maple syrup, but whatever. I like it. So you can even put a little more butter on it. Yeah, but that's that fits. It's a bit much. That um, fits me. I like cinnamon sugar on mine. A little bit of Gentile mix. <laughs> well, as you know, I'm an Ashkenazi princess, so I am not. But I still like maple syrup, Mom. Mom. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my God, it looks Let's amazing. give it a taste. I'm gonna try this because I've never had. Oh, oh cinnamon sugar. Oh, that's what Pete yeah. likes. But cinnamon sugar with a little bit of maple syrup too is really good. Yes. All right, All right so go. this is matzo mush. Matzo, matzo mush, brai. matzo brai. Who doesn't love it? Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. It's like scrambled eggs, but with a bready component that makes it crunchier It's almost and like thicker. bread pudding in a way. It's like bread pudding. That's a good point. Oh and you gosh. just do... But yum. You put these delicious toppings on. It's a perfect breakfast during Passover or any time. I'm trying to think. I think it was just jelly and maple syrup. Yeah. I was trying to think if I'd ever put sour cream on it, but that seems weird to me. Well, apparently people do. But well, jelly's good on it. Mm. Um, but I think for me, like mm. the cinnamon sugar and the um, classic maple syrup, so good. Classic. Mm. So we made three things today and two cocktails essentially. So that's pretty darn good. It's worth it because honestly, it's a celebration. Celebration of where we've been. Celebration of hopefully good things to come. Good things to come. Open the so, door for Elijah and Miriam. I hope we're getting that right. Is her name Miriam? It's Miriam. <laughs> God. We probably uh, got it wrong. So, so Hag Sameach, which means happy Passover. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thinking more of my very, very diluted drink that's not rich, my strong at all. It's very full. Is there, is, you have a symphony of flavors in your mouth. Mm. Hooray. It's like, I remember like breakfast with my family, like with my brothers and sisters when I was like 10. Like yes. I remember- Ma Yes, major friends food- houses during Passover. Like I remember various seders at various places. It just brings such joy Matzo that all of these people this, exist. Yeah, major food sense memory. Yes, and so that- All of it, all of it. Except, except the, this, because I've never had this before. And the people that we've lost <laughs> along the way who we got to celebrate with early on, and maybe not so much now, but uh, yeah. cheers to them. So happy Passover. Cheers to your families, cheers yes. to our families. Oh, well, happy thank Passover. you for joining us for Two Jews Making Food. I'm Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And join us again for more schmaltz, schmaltz and, and shtick. L'chaim.